Hey guys, welcome to the last topic of the week. It's Jacob and Mario, and Hello. we're going to be deep diving like we do into fantasy anime oh. and why it just kind of sucks, oh. or is starting to suck. It's it's starting to dip in quality. I think because it's such a it's such a staple of like an, any anime sort of um, oh, lineup definitely. for like, a fantasy a is everything from Naruto to Attack on Titan. Yeah, and because of that. They want to, any studio, they sort of, obviously they work on schedules for anime yes. and they're not, not every studio is going to get the tip of the top bloody anime, like the most well-written um, thing ever just handed to them all the time. No, of course. So they have to make something in Sometimes the, you got to make indie movies. Yeah. True, true. So they just end up going, hey, fantasy is a really easy thing to adopt for people. It's, they can do something different with it and usually like even like uh doing a water ability or whatever that's really easy to sort of animate mm. for them stuff like that or well, magic sort of really easy to order, um animate because i don't i don't think they actually draw the like circles like you know magic circles yeah. and stuff so that, that's not drawn it's digitally added in so it's really easy to do that sort of stuff and with the ease of being able to make this yeah so it has declined. They get lazy. It, it has yeah. caused a decline because with ease becomes, oh, what what was the word I was going to say? It's this sort of like lax idea mm. of we don't need to put in as much effort or we don't need to make it as specific as it once was. So I, th I think, I think a, a, a nail on the coffin for me or, or with this um, genre itself was when I watched the Master of Ragnarok and the Blessed Revenge of I kind of that actually such a it was title. it was such a bad anime, and I just it just made me think about the fantasy genre and where it's been headed, um, from where it began to where it is now. I feel like it's becoming too stagnant and it's becoming, becoming very same samey. Sort of, yeah, it, it's one of the only genres where I've seen a lot of the new stuff has just been exactly the same i mean we talked about it when we were talking about uh what was it uh rhapsody and when we were talking about fantasy anime in general yeah how they're all pretty much trying to be sword art well oh it's funny all the main if characters you, are sword art. look at that topic um where we talked about fantasy i put um <laughs> i put uh what's his name on um, main character and Sort of online, oh, Kirito? Yeah, Kirito. Um, I put his body with every face, like I just put like four faces of different characters, and they all look the same. All yep. from different anime, four faces, all look the same as him. Mm -hmm. So, if you're looking for generic fantasy characters, they've pretty, come to the right place. Yeah, they're pretty on place with fantasy. Look no further than anime, the place that used to be unique and beautiful and wonderful that has now just become. Everyone wants to open their own studio and make their own anime. Everyone's like, wow, Sword Art was great. I bet I can make a better Sword Art. Yeah. You can't. Sword Art was Sword Art. You can't just copy things yeah. like that anymore. And of course... Well, that's what a lot of people are doing now. Even YouTube. YouTube's the same. People just copy it and try to th and think they can just make it better, but then they don't really change anything. Gone is the era of original thought. Yeah. They say making a podcast. I mean, yeah. I mean, you can... So, if you're... If you're gonna... If you're gonna copy anything or if you're gonna get inspiration... There's a lot of people like to say inspiration from something. Cool. You can get inspiration. Let's just say you there's a new hammer design or whatever that mm -hmm. someone puts out. It has three claws on the back three instead claws. of one. Yeah. And but then you want to... You think, oh, well, maybe four claws might be better. Don't just copy how that damn thing looks. Yeah. Make it different. Make it unique to its own style. Not just, hey, I'll just add the actual claw done. There we are. Yeah, it, it's now kind of... two nails out. It's kind of that old video of um, the, the YouTube creator. And he's like, look what I made. And then the guy dressed as Facebook comes and he grabs it. And he's like, look what I made. And the whole bar's like, whoa. It's kind of, it's kind of like that. It's like just it, it, it's difficult like uh i talk about it all the time i work in the film industry i work in an industry where 
we are having the exact same issue where there are very few unique and original things happening and we're having a lot of rehashings, retellings, the same thing coming out again. Mm. We just got another Robin Hood movie. That makes really? almost... Wow. That makes pretty much a Robin Hood movie for every year of this decade. I think in the last five years, or in the last ten years, we've had six Robin Hood movies. All from different studios. All telling the same story. Mm. What the uh-huh. crap? I get it. Little kids don't know who Robin Hood is. Uh. Now, they can't help but know. And they don't want to because they're all bad. It, it's just... It, it's, it frustrates me because... I love fantasy, I love D&D, and all that sort of stuff. Fantasy anime should be my thing. Mm. And the most engaging fantasy anime at the moment has been Attack on Titan. Because that's cool, like, grand fantasy and all that sort of stuff, and it was different, and it was interesting. And then that sort of lumped in with 20 guys in a black coat with who are dual-wielding swords and have a harem behind them. I don't care. I, I honestly don't care. <laughs> I, and think, I think fan, fan, harem fantasy anime are the worst. Yeah. The story. Also known as Isekai. No, no. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not called Isekai, that. Isekai, all Isekai are harem. No, I'm, not really, no. No, you're completely wrong. You've no idea. What do you What do you think Isekai means? It's the dude that falls asleep on his computer and wakes up and he's like, Wow, I'm it's the a char- new god. <laughs> It's a, yes, this is a character, no, not even always a god, but this is a character that comes from one world to go to another. One dude became a slime and everyone worships him. Well, because he's powerful. Exactly. He's a slime. He, now he's a god. He, he didn't start off powerful. He became powerful, though. And it was actually interesting. That, that slime anime, I swear to God, I forget the name. I was reincarnated as a slime. Yeah. It's a good anime. It's shockingly good. It's shockingly good. There so, we go. There's something that takes this formula... And it's just, it's just funny. Yeah, it's very unique. It's very funny um, the way they've done it. Um, like Re Zero, I also think was shockingly unique as much as it's a Isekai harem. It's, it has a character that is fundamentally not supposed to be in this world, and boy does he suffer for it. It's just like, yeah, it's just a general person put into this other one just gets mutilated over yeah. and over again. Yeah, it, it, it's awesome. It's something Why am I laughing fresh. at that? It's. it's pretty funny well, why, why am I laughing about someone getting mutilated over and it's over it's violently again? confronting okay yeah and the issue with anime is that it used to push these amazing boundaries and tell stories that we hadn't heard before mm-hmm. and like things like Ghost in the Shell where the character was majoritively naked the whole time but that wasn't the point the point was that she was an absolute badass yeah and it was gory and it was something that was like wow this is something that respects my adult interests and, like, sensibilities, but is also done in a very visually unique way. That That's anime. That's why Devilman Crybaby was such a weird point of confliction between people who enjoyed anime. I know that just at this table, there is someone who deeply enjoyed it and did not. Oh boy, were you mad. Oh boy, were you mad. Who? I didn't want to talk to you for days. <laughs> you were so mad. <laughs> Who, who's but that's what anime used to do. It used to be something that was confronting, and now it's the same dude doing the same thing all the time, and occasionally we get an Attack on Titan, or a ReZero, or a... This shouldn't be our, like, saving grace. No, I, I, I was reincarnated as a slime. Yeah. Why are you the best fantasy anime out? I, I feel like I, I don't like the fact that you have to sort of run through all this crap sort of mediocre anime to get to a good one. I don't like ha- having to do that. Um, I really wish that these studios, um, if they wanted to increase profits, would work on their actual anime or work on not just, hey, we just need to get something out. Just anything. Yeah. Just it, it, don't put that mentality into it um, because you're just going to make crap. You're going you're gonna to decrease your sales. People are just going to get fed up with your particular studio and not watch your anime anymore. So it, It's such a out shame there. of wasted potential yeah. because it's, it's a medium that has so much to do and tell and isn't 
bogged down by having to use human real life people you can do whatever you want with it mm. and it's yeah, just, just infinite possibilities but it yeah. doesn't seem to be what people are using it for no everyone's copying each other and hoping that their copy will be slightly better <laughs> and that's such a shame because honestly i don't really remember much of a time in anime where that was a thing mm. <coughs> like Dragon Ball was the biggest. I know you hate me talking about Dragon Ball each week, yeah, you but Dragon Ball, all the time. Ball was the God biggest. But I don't remember Dragon Ball coming out, and then every other anime had screaming dudes who turned who got yellow hair and fired lasers out of their hands. <laughs> you know what they did? They took the things that Dragon Ball had made, and they turned it into stuff like Bleach, and One Piece, and Naruto, and all of these things that have, like, the hero fighting someone that's so ridiculously powerful and they push through and they break their barrier. That's the thing that they all copied. Not a bunch of dudes that look like Goku that have tails that turn into giant things and shoot lasers out of their hands really hard. And a grower. That's, that's not the thing. <laughs> a monkey or something. That's not the thing that you're copying. You're copying... The, you're supposed to take and adapt the feel and mm. the lessons told in the anime. Yeah, but... Uh, we've talked about a lot about, about copying, but yeah. So fantasy, anime, people who make fantasy anime, these studios, if you're listening, probably not, but if you are, just work on a little bit more, okay? And if you are listening, share us to your friends. Yes. We're talking about the things that happen in your industry. Yes. Please love us. Please we, love. we need more we subscribers. Need some validation. We're getting really close, though. Yeah. We're getting close to our goal. Nearly a thousand subscribers, guys. So. Share, love us, How, talk to us about everyone. 127 more, please. <laughs> Just anyone. We're if so you have close. five friends, just get them to subscribe. I don't care. Yes. Yeah. Just hack their computers and while you're, you know, stealing their credit card details, yeah. just sign up to anime chat reviews. Just, are, are you doing your part? Really? Yeah. Are you doing your part? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> See, now that's unique. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that's unique. That's such we, purpose. <laughs> we, we copied the idea of, hey, Subscribe to us. Try and subscribe to us. But then we brought in the additional flavor of hack your friend's computer, take their credit card, and, you know, subscribe to us while you're there. Mm -hmm. That's what fantasy anime should be doing. But they're not. If two Aussie idiots that are trying to make it big on YouTube can figure out a way to make something that you've heard a thousand times before somewhat interesting, a team of people who are paid to be creative as their livelihood should be able to do the same. Uh-huh. Mic drop. <laughs> I don't know. Call I'm, you I'm so wrong. done. I'm so yeah. sick of this just copycat garbage. Yeah. Just it, it's, it's, it's everywhere. Happened. It's plagued every single uh, social media. and Social media in film, in TV, everything's the same. Anime used to be the escape for that, and now it's becoming that. And it's so frustrating. But anyway, I think we're I think we're about finished on this yes. topic before you get anything if, if, real. If you don't, if you have said all the things you want to say, I feel like I've said the the main things I wanted to say about it. But you know, I've always I've got a million things to say, but not enough time to do it. If you guys have any input of things that you've noticed with fantasy anime and its decline, or if you have a defense of fantasy anime and you think that we're being unnecessarily harsh, please mm. throw it down in the comments. Yeah. You know, we love to talk to you. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for listening, and we will see you all next week. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks. We love you.